Hi, welcome. Last time we were experimenting with a kernel. And which kernel? Well, the, the last one that comes from uh, kernel.org. So this one, kernel.org provides us with the kernels. Uh, this is Linus Torvald's main piece of work, the kernels. And the 4.1937 can be installed on Arch Linux, on Tergos, Manjaro, anything Arch with the help of AOR. There is the AOR that can provide us with that. We have Gay as helper and we have Trizen as helper. So it's up to you to figure out what you like. But Yay Linux mainline is a good name to uh, have a look at and you'll see it's the same version as the one online. Now last time I showed you how to bypass these keys. And I'm going to say also, since this is my SSD system, not my virtual box anymore, I'm going to remove and uh, make dependencies, remove, make dependencies after install. Yes, please. Right. So clean system after the creation of the kernel. So that's one thing. Now, what I always do and what you should surely do now, since it's going to take a lot of resources out of your system, is make sure that all your kernels are working. So we have cores, sorry, not kernel, cores. So we have this OOO thingy, use all cores. I have eight cores, I'm gonna tell to the system, use them then, all right? Not one, eight. So my building time is just, has been shortened just now. Remove make dependencies, yes, okay. And this is okay, packages to clean build, enter. And this to show, okay, enter. And now this issue came up and then we I showed you the way how to fix it. I say, okay, let's import the PGP keys. That's a specific problem, but I suppose I'm not alone in the world having the problem to import that my port from my internet service provider, the guy who provides me internet, is shut and have to bypass it in some way, right? So that's in the video about um, in virtual box, so the building the kernel in virtual box. Just want to try this out on a real machine. And try to skip these PGP keys another way. So it says import, I say no, right? And try to install it like that. And let's go and see what happens if we can eventually build one. He's going to download a lot of stuff. It's going, I think it's going faster on my SSD now opposed to the virtual box since the counter is going up way faster that's a good download 22 megabytes per second 160 100 um, yeah 180 160 180 megabytes megabits per second so receiving objects great where is he putting this do i need place i think so you need place you need lots of it so it's going to go to the A in the cache in the lots of things here already. So all these things can go. Done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. We're just talking about this one. This is the one he's downloading now. There's a source here and later on he'll put it in a package. But at this point in time, we're just getting every object. And at this point in time, the deltas. So I wanted to know one, how does it feel on SSD? Two, can I bypass these keys? So I did not import them. And uh, let's clean the clash. trash. Speaking of trash, there is a new option. It's in the tutorial I created last, last uh, week, I think. So preferences, there is a new tunar. And the new tunar gives us the ability to show the action to permanently delete files. So when I click something, we have this red thing. Or you can say, no, I don't want to see the red thing. And then the red thing is gone if you restart Thunar. No, you can, you don't need to restart. It kicks in. So it's another option. You can put it on, put it off. It's uh, up to you if you like to see that there or not. In the meantime, he's going to download more and more stuff. And we're there. So it's 1647. Everything has been filmed so we can check because I went away. 
I went to go to, to my work, to my job. And I left this virtual book, compile all this stuff. And uh, I think I waited around 30 minutes and then I had to go. So I wonder how long compiling a kernel actually takes. So there we go. We'll have to follow it and see how long it will take. Come on, yep, a little bit bigger. It's a lot of stuff we can follow, kernel arch stuff, a lot of warnings. So basically we're following a package build from someone, right? It's an, an, a yay, an, an AOR package build, meaning we can Google it, AOR Arch Linux, Linux mainline. And what do we get? We get here lots of stuff. So we're doing this guy. There's also an RC5 I see here, something else. So we're doing this one and it's, he's executing this, right? So he says, go get the Git kernel from Torvalds, right? Git Torvalds and do this and that. So valid PGP keys. Those are the keys we just skipped now. Um, I trust that's in order. And yes, it is in order because I've done it in uh, VirtualBox. And he's building everything, he's doing some preparation. So the, the big elements are prepare, build, and package, right? And all the rest I should read on my own and study it. But this is what we're doing. We're doing, we're following a recipe of someone and who is someone? Michael Erickson and another maintainer here, Thomas and Tobias, right? So these guys made it possible that we have a kernel on our system. The only thing we need is power, time and patience. I'm gonna pause the video since it's gonna take, uh, I think, more than 30 minutes. All right. Okay, we'll see later in the video how long it took, but he says here we're ready to go install this thing. So Linux mainline, that's done. Please wait. And then afterwards you do your alias. So if you forget, just type the word alias in. So it's the update grub we need, it's this line we need. So update the grub please. So we have a new grub and we have this Linux mainline image that is going to boot up. Now the rest of course I can't film it so I'm gonna try and reboot and then see how this Linux kernel works. Getting rid of it is like in the other tutorial uh, eventually I'm gonna do a pseudo pacman minus r Linux mainline and then again uh, again we do a pseudo uh, grub update okay. So enjoy testing out new kernels in the future. There will always be a new kernel to test out and see if it works on your system. All right, cheers.